major crypto assets including Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ETH, trimmed some of their losses from the aftermath of yesterday's U.S. Federal Reserve statement, with prices rising during the European trading hours on Thursday. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar extended a rally from earlier, breaking through key resistance levels on the way up. At 1448 UTC, BTC stood at 37 US dollars, 029, down 3. 2% for the past 24 hours and 11. 3% for the week. At the same time, ETH traded at 2 US dollars, 504, down 5% for the day and 19% for the past 7 days. Meanwhile, the US dollar index, DXY, continued to rise strongly today, after also seeing strong gains yesterday. The index, which measures the US dollar against a basket of currencies from other major economies, broke through recent highs from November last year, reaching its highest level since July 2020. The moves in crypto and forex markets today come after the Fed's Federal Open Market Committee FOMC, statement was released yesterday, with the US central bank confirming that it is still committed to its plan to raise interest rates starting in March, as well as to begin work to reduce its massive. And while yesterday's statement was largely in line with the Fed's earlier ones, the speculations about whether the central bank might raise rates by 0.5% instead of 0.25% in March have remained. The speculations come mainly from analysts who argue that controlling inflation is now more important for the Fed than supporting financial markets. Importantly, the Fed's chair neither confirmed nor discounted the possibility of raising rates by 50 basis points instead of 25, meaning that we could. Moore chatted that he believes this means the Fed is willing to let stocks go lower as it pursues its mandate of keeping inflation under control. And with stocks going down, crypto is likely to go down too, Moore argued. Digital assets, BTC included, tend to become more correlated with stocks during stress periods when most of the investment markets go risk-off, Moore said.